Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about Parashat Breshit. Parashat Breshit has many issues involved, but I think the most intriguing issue is how were we created as human beings? How were we created? Who are we? We know more about ourselves if we understand how we were created. So, the simple story is that HaKadosh Baruch Hu created all the intimate and then the vegetable and then the animal and then the human being and the human being is the king of the castle and he has to be in control of everything that's what it seems but how is that human being created? the wording is very surprising when we look at the wording it says Na'aseh Adam HaKadosh Baruch Hu says Na'aseh and we will make a human being we will make a human being? HaKadosh Baruch Hu isn't creating us by himself Rush immediately uh, uh, relates to this and tells us, "An v'tanuton shel Hakadosh Baruch Hu lamadnu mikan lefi she haAdam b'tmut hamalachim v'yitkanu bo lefi chach nimlach b'hem." We are similar to angels, and in order not to insult the angels, he consulted the angels. So we were created in consultation with angels. So that is why it's in plural naaser. That's how Rashi explains it. The Ramban doesn't accept this. The Ramban goes in a different direction completely and finds an interesting perush. The, this interesting perush takes us back to the first pasuk of the Torah. Bereshit bara elokim et hashamayim v'ta'aretz. Which means, the way he explains it, in the beginning, Bereshit bara elokim, God created something from nothing. He created two raw materials. Shamayim is a completely spiritual raw material from which he created the angels. Vetaaretz, a completely physical raw material from which he created the mountains and the trees and the animals. Naase Adam is not plural of creators, chas v'shalom. And it's not because he consulted the, the angels, it's because it's a plural of raw materials. Everything in the world is either created from the first raw material, shamayim, the spiritual raw material, or from the aretz, which is the physical raw material. There's only one creation that is created, na'aseh adam, let there be created a man who has both sides to him, has the aretz, and we are, we are standing on the aretz, we're standing, on, we have a physical side to us that answers to gravity and p- pulls us down, but we have hands, with our hands we put on tefillin, with our hands we light Shabbos candles, with our hands we, uh, we, we, we uh, um, shake lulav, with our hands we do many mitzvahs, with our hands we, we, we are elevated, we have the tilas yadayim, our hands elevate us. And on one side of us is pulling towards heaven, that's our side which is taken from the raw material called shamayim, spiritual, and our body is taken from the aretz, from the raw material. In fact, when a person passes away after 120 years, we light a candle in his memory. Why a candle? Because a candle is the only thing we have in the world which is symbolically identical to a human being. It has the wax, which actually answers to gravity and pulls it down. On the other hand, there is a flame, which gives the light, which gives the warmth, which gives the sense of humor, which actually pulls, is pulled towards heaven, which is pulls, up, pulls, pulls us up. It's this combination of being a, a candle. Ne'er Hashem Nishmat Adam. We are the candle of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, after creating the whole creation, created a candle. We are the candle.